<laughs> Buddy, she's trying to get you all. Okay, you're paying attention. Good, you're behaving. Oh. <laughs> you get him, Elador. Did you see, buddy? He has his hand on her hip. Like they're dating or something. Oh. <laughs> She's like, get your hand. Oh, okay. <gasps> Now what's going on there? The two of you, your tails are going. Eleanor is not backing down. All right, you guys behave. That's actually kind of comforting to see them interacting. So often they just spend their time hanging out by themselves. Oh, Buddy. I think Buddy's used to her backing down and being like super passive and he does not like it when she stands up for herself all right there's definitely a winner in this interaction it was the pretty girl but he will recover you comfortable eleanor <laughs> yeah in your superiority But he's having some alone time. Oh, must be a pigeon out there. Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Today is January 27th. It is 1121. In about nine minutes, I'll be meeting with Ross, I think his name is, or Russ, to discuss what my options might be with Shimi or another car. So, uh, I want to thank you for all of your assistance and hints and warnings and suggestions. So thank you very much. When I got Shimi, I was I was walking blind. I had no idea what I was doing and I was terribly afraid of being taken advantage of. And I was getting a car during a time when cars were very expensive because of the chip shortage and everything that was going on at the time. So I'm hoping it's a little easier. If do you hear my my uh breathing? Do you hear that? Oh, oh my God. Last night, I was literally lying in bed almost like it was the first day I let Buddy in the house. If you didn't know, I'm terribly allergic to cats. Yes, I had three of them in a 400 square foot studio at one point. <clears throat> but I was taking Claritin in the morning and at nighttime. Um, 24 hour pills, morning and night to be able to barely survive them. This many years later, I've acclimated almost to the point where I don't have to take anything to be around my cats. I sleep with them next to my head. So, but for some reason, after two, three days at home without spending, I keep spitting all over my dashboard here. I hope they're not going to touch my steering wheel. Um, for spending most of my time at the house for the past couple of days without really leaving, I'm just breathing cat. And last night I lay in bed struggling. So I took two Claritin just to be able to breathe. And uh, it's it's something else. Um, I hate being allergic to cats because I love my cats so much. But they don't know. They don't know. They don't have a problem. All right. I'm going to stop yammering away and get inside and find out what my choices are. All right. I'll see you soon. The dealership, by the way, is Auto Nation uh, Honda. It's on... I think it's on... East Sahara? I think we're on East Sahara. They've always treated me very well here, and I'm very, very pleased to find out what my next choices are. But uh, yeah, if you're in Vegas looking for a Honda, so I might suggest them. I'm waiting for Russ. Now, I think it was Don that told me that the newer HRV that I drive is 10 inches longer than my car, uh, which would be a very snug fit in my garage. I mean, it's possible, but it would be snug. So far, so good. I'm dealing with a very, very nice man, Ross. He's originally from Hawaii. He's super, super nice. Uh, but he seems to understand my concerns and my needs. But I'm also 
better at expressing my concerns and my needs than I was the first time I did this. Uh, so that's good. But um, he is going to show me a couple cars. Um, a, a, the new Honda HRV, which I love. My concern with the new one, it's 10 inches longer. And I think, was it Don that told me that? But uh, it's 10 inches longer than my car, which uh, 10 inches is 10 inches. I'll leave that right there. Because uh, what do you do with 10 inches? Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you still subscribed? <laughs> So it's 10 inches longer than my current car. Uh, and uh, my current car fits in my garage lengthwise with a little room. Uh, I, this new one would be a very snug fit. And uh, so that's my that's my only really concern with going with the, the newer car. Uh, but uh, now Russ is gonna show me the new cars. Uh, let's go see what my options are. Hi. All right. Oh, okay. someone was just showing it, but this is the same car. This is the one that's showing you. So this is actually it's called a Nordic Forest Green. Nordic Forest Green. I call it charcoal. All right. It's actually a hint of green. Oh, there. all right. Yeah. 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 Oh, I like it. This one does have the light interior. All right. Um, but I do have one with the black interior too. Okay. We'll black. take a look at it. I hope you don't mind if I'm yeah, filming. Yeah. I won't film you, yeah, but yeah. for my. Uh, my YouTubers are all going to be very concerned. I like the grill, that little honeycomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm, let me get in there and see if the fit is. Because when I get in my car, I have to like scooch. Oh, oh my gosh. Now you can still lower the seats too right here. Yeah, well, but I just yeah. slid in. I usually have to, I have <laughs> to fold myself a shimmy. Yeah, yeah. it's also the name of the car almost. I have to like get under the wheel and, yeah. and get in there. Oh, I'm already impressed. Go ahead and start it. Uh, oh, all right. <gasps> is yours still a key? Mine is a key. Oh, okay. The idea of just starting it with a button. <gasps> I feel like an adult. I shouldn't seem so excited. I know you're telling me not to seem so excited. Are you excited. okay with the light interior? Or? Um, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. It won't show dust as easily, yeah. right? <laughs> All right. I like lots. I'm going to continue looking around. I'm going to try out the white one because Ross says that sometimes people feel that there's a difference between driving the col different colors. Oh, well, I guess I can see the, the point of view would feel different. Yeah. I forgot to tell you, while I was out test driving those two cars, it's the same car, just different colors. And yes, it did feel a little different driving the green one versus the white one. I drive a black car all the time and I'm used to that, but I think I liked the white personally. Uh, but while I was test driving the car, um, they had someone go out to my car and I guess audit it or figure out how much it would be worth or what so they're trying they would figure out what its current value is so we can work that against the numbers we're yeah. looking at so so something is happening although i am sitting here for quite a long time it is um one o'clock in the afternoon i got here at 11 15 so whatever all right so anything i say someone out there is gonna be like no steven you're making a mistake you're being an idiot so uh, I am going home to measure my garage. <laughs> Why? Because my car, Shimi, is 170 inches long. And as we all know, by my inappropriate comment about those 10 inches, um, <laughs> my garage is short. My garage is short. So I'm literally going to go... <clears throat> in to my garage and measure it and uh, see if this new car will fit this new H HRV. Um, while I'm doing that, the closer, she's the closer, she says manager, but she's the one that's trying to close the deal. And I understand it. I've done that myself when I was selling very expensive jewelry. Well, she is uh, looking to see whether or not she can um, make my monthly payment close to what I'm paying 
now. Uh, as it is, I pay 300 a month for my car, Shimi, for the lease. Um, I pay 300 a month. What she just told me is that I could lease this new Honda HRV. It is a very nice car for about 350 a month. Now, my thoughts, my thought pattern here is $50 a month. I can swing quite easily because um, I'm getting a pay raise as of March. Uh, and I just got a little one uh, as of January. So I'll be making probably over the course of the two little pay raises, I'm probably going to be making five or six dollars an hour more. Maybe not that much. About four dollars more an hour. Even not that much. <laughs> Let's just say three dollars an hour. Um, uh, and more than I was making a couple months ago. So that incremental little tiny pay jump uh, would pay the difference and the balance of um, these two different car payments. Is $50 a month a big deal? No. No. Um, especially if I get off my ass and start listing stuff on eBay. Uh, in fact, <sighs> all right, so this is this my, my mind. Uh, I'm, this is how I have to think. If I don't talk, I'm going to stop thinking. Um, I just got a message from somebody on eBay. Um, I sent out offers on these Christmas dolls called Buyer's Choice. Um, I had them listed for $68 a piece. I probably have seven or eight of them left. Um, and I sent out offers for $60, $58 or $60. Uh, and a woman just messaged me saying, uh, if all of them have their tags, which I think they do, she would um, purchase all four of the, the four that I sent her offers for. So that's 240 bucks right there. So, yeah. Ta -da. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to measure my garage and see if it would accommodate this new car. Would it accommodate the new 10 inches? I can't leave that joke alone. It's hysterical. Um, all right, so I will see you at the house. Um, man, I'm hungry. All right, let's get let's get home. Oh, I'm not home yet, but I am very conscious of my space in Shimi. I really never really thought about it so much because I fit in my driver's seat like a little shoehorn. I I slide right in. But my legs are touching every surface around me. Uh, and um, the, that Honda, that new Honda HRV had so much space inside. It was incredibly comfortable and very nice. <sighs> I'm torn. So this is 180. And you can kind of see here where the garage door uh, sits when it actually meets the ground. Um, Oh. And just in case, I measured the space under the front of the car where they have this little uh, skirt here. In case um, I really need to get the car in the garage as far as I can so I don't run the risk of the garage door hitting the back of the car, you know. So I think I have the space. I think I have the room. What I'm going to do... I'm going to swing by Duncan's real quick, get a coffee, uh, and um, just sit in the parking lot and think for a bit. I wish you guys were standing right next to me. There's a lot of positives to continuing to lease. So there's a lot of positives for continuing to lease. Um, having a, a newer car. Um, I can't really think of all the things I should say about the positives, but there feels like a smart choice. Um, the monthly payment, if I were to buy my car out, would be um, closer to 400 or uh, over 400 I think, a month uh, for per, per payment. So my payment would actually increase, but the car would be mine. But the car would be reducing in value. <sighs> I don't know. 
So, um, I have a sneaking suspicion I'm going to get the new car leasing it. I have a sneaking suspicion. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion? Because I just emptied everything out of Shimi, including sunglasses, CDs, everything that was in the car, I've taken out and threw in the garage, which to me seems like a real big hint that I'm telling myself I might do this. Uh, this is akin to when I was uh, breaking up with my ex-boyfriend, Steven, I have dated a number of Stevens in my years. Um, when I broke up with Steven from in 2012, 13, 12, um, I packed all of my belongings in a big hockey duffel bag uh, before I told him I was going to break up with him. Uh, I didn't want to have to gather my stuff you know, just after telling him I wanted to be ready to run. And uh, that's what I feel like I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I need coffee first. Something else coming to mind. Um, I asked the manager or the closer, whoever it was that was talking to me about finances. I asked her to see if it's possible that she could possibly get that monthly payment down. Uh, a little bit closer to what I'm paying right now. And I used all my sob stories, you know, because my life really has become much more expensive than it was. My HOA went from 180 to 250. My car insurance went from 150 to 250. Uh, and like, so like all the incremental uh, bills that have gone up over the past year or so uh, just make um, you know, making a higher car payment just a little bit more uncomfortable than I'm, than I'm comfortable with. Uh, so I told her if it's possible while I'm gone measuring my uh, garage that you possibly see if you can get that payment down a little bit. And she said she'd try. Uh, the the uh, one of the other options is um, the number she gave me, three fifty a month, which is her guess really, um, that that would be with zero money down, with no money down. If I put a thousand dollars down, the payment would be reduced by like 20 something dollars a month. Nothing crazy. So I'm like, eh, I'll do the zero dollars down. Um, just keep that thousand dollars in my bank account in case something happens. You know, I'd rather have that money in my bank than have a $20 savings on my monthly car payment. So blah, blah, blah. Has any of this made any sense to you? I'm sure there are a few of you who are yelling at me on the screen right now going, Steven, you're making a big mistake. You shouldn't be doing that. I've made worse mistakes. No matter what I do, I have made worse mistakes, no matter what, what I do here. Uh, so I will, I'm gonna grab a coffee and then I'll see you back at the dealership. Oh, this is terribly exciting. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the white one. I know. I know. I know. Probably some of you were saying I'm making mistakes. Some of you were like, yay, great. Uh, so now I have to call Geico and move. I thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. If you're... Hey guys. Hi. So it's done. It's done. When I leased my car the first time, Shimi, um, it, it, the same situation. It was the same situation. I came in to do some research, to look around at what my options were. And in the end, it just seemed like to make so much sense to do it that I did it. You know, same story today. Now, I mean, I could have purchased Shiny, but after driving the newer version, it's so much better than my old car. I love my little old car, but um, this is a this is a nicer car, and I'm for for like sixty seventy dollars more a month minus the savings from my insurance. So there's that. Um, but I feel very very happy with my decision here. I'm getting a white car, uh, and when I talked to the manager here, I said, you know, does a white car really make a difference in the desert versus a black car? And she said, so funny. She goes, yeah, it drives white. <laughs> just sounds like a Saturday Night Live skit right there. It drives away. But yeah, she says it makes a difference uh, having a light-colored car in the desert here on hot days. Um, so everything's done. I'm just waiting for them to um, receive my uh, uh, copies of my insurance card. And I think I'm done. I think I'm done from there. Super excited. So um, 
they uh, take care of the last four months of my old lease. That's that's waived because I'm starting a new, a new, more expensive one. So I'm sure they're happy. Um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Had I chosen to purchase Shimi, it would have cost me four, like four change, four twenty, four twenty one, something like that, a month to keep Shimi. And as somebody reminded me, you know, three years, this is when stuff starts to happen. Expensive stuff starts to happen. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident and comfortable. Now, in the future, because these three years for a lease flew by. It seems like yesterday. Uh, so the next time that I become, when my lease is getting close to ending, I'm probably going to consider buying a car instead of leasing a car uh because at that time and you know three years from now i'll be making a little bit more money and i can uh make a payment for a similar car a little more easily or go and splurge for a cooler car i um all right so if you're still watching this video because i know i'm rambling um it's it's uh, an exciting time for me this is this just feels like a, a something that i never expected would happen to me like i'm leasing you know a, another brand new vehicle um and uh if you know my story um today is the 27th um the 29th is the three-year anniversary that i get i got the keys to my condo so i'm feeling a little emotionally charged right now uh because it's just <sighs> watching um gal with no plan nika um, and her and her recent struggles and you know in recovery and I'm sure her living situation is going to improve soon all of her uh, videos have really really made me um, all the more gra grateful for everything I have I've worked hard for what I have I really have uh, and I've struggled and I earned nice things to happen to me I have had a lot of shit happen you know so I'm just feeling very emotional about this and the anniversary of my condo and the fact that I'm going to drive home in a brand new vehicle to my home with my cats and take a nap because you know, I'm emotionally trashed right now. So um, I will talk to you after I get my keys uh, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon. Guys, it's 423 in the afternoon. So far, I've had a cup of coffee, a couple crackers with peanut butter. I'm going to faint. But uh, I'm going into my old car, Shimi. They already took the plates off uh, to grab the last couple of things that are inside there. Oh, I almost forgot my little rose. <gasps> All right, there's my paperwork for the new car. Something I left in the car. I need to get, take my camera mount off. It stuck really good. And I need to take, where is my little rose? Do you remember that little passenger who made this for me? I have it hanging in my car. Anything else? I'm, oh yeah, oh my God, my, the thing that Linda sent me, my little um, visor shade thing. I think Linda sent this to me. I have to get this off. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Here's my car. My battery and my phone's gonna die in a minute, so I'm gonna have to charge this and I'll get a better shot of my car, the inside and out. I am now the very proud owner of a 2024 Honda HRV. And it's a very pretty white. It has a pearlescent feel to uh, finish to it. So pretty. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> All right, I just turned the car on. I've got nine miles on the odometer. <laughs> it's got automatic lights, so the lights turn on and off automatically. That was not an option on my old car. I've got this um, little information center up here. It does not have GPS built in there, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'll give you a real tour of the car in daylight, but what I need you to do right now is find something to eat. Because uh, it is, let's see, what time is it? It's 5.05. I've eaten exactly three water crackers with scoops of peanut butter on them. That's all I've eaten all day. So I am, I'm hurting right now, guys. But um, yeah, I will take a little video of, of the car and a tour of the car tomorrow. In the meantime, 
Have a good night. And oh, I'm so excited. I'm sure I have other things to tell you, but <sighs> all right. See you soon. Good morning. We want treats. Uh huh. Eleanor, you want some? Yeah. Okay. Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor. What a good girl. What a good girl. You're a good girl. Good morning, buddy. Oh, my boy. My good boy. Yeah? You're gonna fall off of me. You're gonna fall off of me. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here, a little more head rubbing. Okay. All right. My good boy. My good boy. Oh, okay. All right. I'll rub your head more. Oh, isn't that good? Isn't that good? Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My handsome boy. <sighs> Hello, little monkey. <laughs> yes, buddy, I know. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know, buddy. Hold on. Good afternoon, guys. Hi. I know, I know a lot of my cats. You've seen a lot of my cats in this video today, but I just can't not share them with you. I love them so much, and they've been so good. Uh, but what I want to do today is go for a drive, just to drive around Vegas in my new car, in my new white car, my new bigger white car. So I was a little anxious about the size of this car in my garage. My garage is wide, but it's short. Uh, so I was a little worried. This is the space. If I pull up as much as I can, uh, this is the amount of space I have between the back bumper and the door. Uh, so it's not an enormous amount of space, but it's plenty of space. It's, I don't have to worry about hitting that. All right, when opening up the door, the headlights light up automatically and the interior lights light up automatically, which didn't happen in my last car. And it sings, do you hear that? It sings a little song, welcoming me, in, welcoming me into my car. I don't know how to handle this. My garage door opens, even in bright sunlight. I have a new car. My cats are happy and healthy. I own my own home. I don't know how to handle this these days. It's like, oh my God. And look at this. My garage door opens, even in bright sunlight. <clears throat> I'm wearing a cute little outfit, which is all Goodwill, of course. And um, I'm pulling out by pushing this button um, of my own garage <laughs> in my house. Um, today, I got an email from my mortgage loan officer um, congratulating me on my third anniversary. Today is the day that um, my my loan closed. Uh, so it was official, like this is like, this was gonna be my house. My loan was closed today, three years ago. Tomorrow is my three, third anniversary of receiving my uh, keys to my car, to my house. God, I'm thinking about the car. Uh, so it's three years tomorrow that I received the keys to my house uh which so you can you can you know that i'm very emotional today but i'm gonna go for a drive it's a beautiful day and at some point i'm gonna pull over somewhere and uh make a separate video of a, a tour of my whole car which uh is gonna be my exploration so i can find out where everything is and um some of you might find it interesting i know that when i was looking for my first car the uh shimi 
I still have yet to decide what my name of my car should be. Drop any suggestions if you think you have any ideas in the comment section. Uh, but uh, uh, I watched a whole bunch of videos uh, on YouTube comparing different vehicles between a Toyota and a different couple different Honda models and um, so I used YouTube quite a bit to look at the interiors of the cars and blah 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 so I might make my own separate video uh, about um, the car and uh, so I don't know where I'm heading right now I just want to get out and drive around a little bit I'm probably gonna end up at a Goodwill uh, but uh, I will see you there wherever I go so before I give you the tour, I'll tell you the first the first thing you notice when you go from a, a, a 2021 HRV to a 2024 HRV, the drive is much smoother. I don't know if, if the shock absorbers or whatever situation is different there, but the pickup is smoother. It just drives smoother. It's also quieter. When I accelerated in my 2021 HRV, you heard it and you almost felt like belts being pulled or something. There was always a little bit of a noise, which you stop hearing after like no time. But I was very aware of it um, at the beginning of my ownership of the car. And now that I don't hear anything, um, it's it's very distinct, the, the difference between this, the sound of the car driving. Yeah, it just moves smoother. The roads of Las Vegas are horrible in terms of texture. I think it's probably the, the heat uh, and all the traffic and stuff. Just the roads are frequently just undulating. And uh, so it's it's crazy how much smoother this drive is. I am, I am very, very, very pleased. Uh, and it just feels much more stable. It's a wider car by a little bit, I think. Uh, it's also a little bit longer. You know, my by about 10 inches. <laughs> I still think that's funny. If you don't think that's funny, I'm sorry. If you don't get it, I'm doubly sorry. All right, let me let me uh, drive. I'll talk to you later.